mobilization technique for the glenohumeral joint posterior glide. The model is in the supine line position at the edge of the bed. The scapula is stabilized with a belt. The therapist between the arm of the model and the body. This arm is holding uh, the arm of the uh, model. I can start from the resting position, which is 55 degrees abduction of the shoulder and 30 degrees horizontal abduction, or you can start from the restricted range of motion. Um, the posterior glide increases the shoulder flexion. Now, with this hand, I will apply the force with the inner border of my hand. I will push the head of the humerus downward to apply the posterior glide. I can do it sustained or facilitate. 